Okay, good day everybody. Mike here. Day three. Five knives, five days challenge. I have for you today a, uh, a real working knife for me. Something that I use on a real regular basis. This is a Schrade Made in USA WR1 diving knife now I don't do any diving anymore I haven't done any diving for decades however I am down at the beach quite a bit and the knife serves the same purpose on the beach as it does in the water for cutting lines or prying things and these probably weren't very expensive probably you know $25 back in the day it's a WR1 and they currently are selling a WR3 that they call a water rat and it has more of a, a boot knife shape I think it's a little longer and a little narrower it kind of reminds me of the old Gerber boot knives um, this one though just a plain old stainless steel blade feels like it's a pretty well a full tang wrapped in a plastic handle plastic sheath the sheath does have uh, loops here so that you could put a leg strap on it if you wanted to it didn't really come with those when I got it though from what I remember so it's got the regular loop here at the top to wear on a belt wide enough for you know a weight belt for a free diver or a snorkeler or whatever you want to call them and it snaps in there real positively it just is not coming out easily unless you depress this little button and then it'll pull out it's light it's a useless knife as far as uh, like camping and stuff like that. I mean, I, you know, I'm sure you could dig with it or, you know, cut little strings and stuff like that or, or lines, but uh, this is really a knife meant to be used in and around the water, which is kind of following the trend here. I mean, I do live right on the coast. So, yeah, short little blade. Looks like it's only, you know, three and a three and a quarter inches or so. But that's more than enough to cut uh, the odd line that you might want to cut. Or, uh, you know, prying rocks. That's almost all dive knives have a flattened tip, similar to if they were broken off. You know, and then for, for prying shells, like these are small, very small uh, oyster shells. Uh, you might actually be able to get in there and, and open an oyster with one of these, although they're not really designed for it. Um, and the legality of using a tool to remove shellfish uh, from the rocks that they're attached is kind of questionable in some areas now as well. However, just a plain old working knife you might even find in a junk box at a pawn shop for five bucks a Schrade American made WR1 dive knife okay that wraps up uh, day three five knives five days challenge have a great day everybody Mike out